Nope. Nothing under that one. Let's finish this up here. Get this spot. Oh, wait a minute. You guys see that? This is a three-toed box turtle. Um, I'm surprised I haven't seen one of these uh, this spring yet. So this is the first one. So that's kind of awesome. So it's a uh, first species of the year. First box turtle species of the year. We have two that are native here. We have the ornate and we have the three-toed or common box turtle. Three-toed and common are the same thing. Looks like the sun's trying to come out a little bit up there. But uh, that's really awesome. I haven't seen one of these guys yet. I'll let this guy go back over there and uh, probably flip these last two boards. Hey guys, uh, I'm at Arcadia Lake today. And uh, I think we're just gonna go look through the swamps and go to the same place we went to last time. I'm here with uh, KCK Films oh God, no. and we're looking for some stuff. So we'll get right into it. We're gonna go look in the swamp and I'll see what we can find. It's kind of awesome. We have uh, just found a huge common snapping turtle. Oh, buddy, no, no, no. He's, don't leave. We're gonna try and get it out and get some better photos of it, but that is kind of awesome. Look how big that guy is. Well, okay. we, we, er, we're trying to get him out. He's, he likes the mud. Yeah. He's a really nice turtle though. Has it snapped once yet? Well, we're just gonna let him go. Oh uh, my hands after handling that beast. He's... We're gonna see if we can find uh, see if we can find some snakes. Yeah. There are a lot of well, guys, um, apparently there are a million water snakes in this little area, so I'm definitely not gonna be able to film one if I get it. But if I catch one, I'll show you. So, well, we flip this board, and there are a lot of thorns. There's a mouse, mouse in there somewhere. And then yeah, this guy was, Ooh, where'd he go? Here he is. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this kind of toad is, let's see. Could it be an American or could it be a wood house? I don't know. Let's see, I'll have you guys identify it. I can never tell. Oh. Something over there. It looks like an American. But you can never tell. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna take some photos of this guy and uh, let him go. Okay, we got it. Okay, okay. That's right there. He's missing a tail. Well, buddy had a little encounter. Oh, that's a little brown skink for those of you who don't know. Get a photo of this guy and let him go. It's funny, we just got another one, a second one. This one actually has a tail. Yeah. This one looks like a little, might be a little bit bigger. This one's also a bit light. Skin stacks. This guy's also a bit lighter colored than the other guy. Well, this guy actually seems to have like parasite eggs of some sort look like wasp eggs on the side of his uh on the side of his chin and those babies will probably burrow down into his skin and eat him from the inside so we're just going to take those off now here's a third brown skink you can't get it to focus on him but i just flipped this log and there's a little toad on again i can't tell if it's a woodhouse or american off well we got this this is the fourth one in hand fourth little brown there's a tick on this guy's underside so we're gonna get it off and then let this guy go. We well, we flipped this board and we got a big scorpion. Again, it's a striped bark scorpion. It's the only species that lives here. So I'm probably just gonna flip his board back and uh, keep keep looking for some snakes. Yes. Maybe I can actually get a snake in hand. Well, we got a diamondback water snake out and he is biting my leg. Well, it took us a while to get him unattached. He is from strong. He's a diamondback water snake. So we're probably gonna photograph this guy these are really hard to catch. There he goes. Goodness. There he goes. Back into the, uh... Sorry, buddy. I know that was got kind of crazy at the end. That was an accident. He's, He's gone. gone. Oh, up on the... There's a river down there. I think we're just gonna go look at it. If I can get across without killing myself. Do you really think I can do that? This is kind of cool. This is a kill deer. We're at the new spot. This is a kill deer. Uh, sitting on some eggs, so we're probably gonna back off, leave this girl alone, uh, and let her do her thing, not disturb her anymore. Well, we found a big old western rat snake, not a black rat snake. Yeah. Let's go. Wow, that is a big rat snake. Jeez. He's not happy at all. Trying not to get bit by him because that would hurt. Okay, well, we got this guy under control. He seems he's to be really chill, chill now. Real chill. Oh, we're just gonna let her go. Oh, she's not happy anymore. Yeah, her we made her. I think she's gonna sit there, so we'll leave her alone and uh, see if we can find anything else. We got a few more flips, but that's pretty much it. All right, guys, it's the next day. It's Tuesday. I think it's the 7th of April. 
we're just gonna check the flip spot up here at the top of the hill and i'll update you guys if i see anything well here's the box turtle that's pretty cool this is a male this is a three-toed again three-toed box turtle that's pretty cool second one of the year well i'm at a new flip spot and uh check that out that's Ooh. a five line skink it's about it's about 85 degrees out here Tough five line skink so we're gonna take some photos of this guy and let him go back under his piece of tin that my good friends a big old soft shell there's a balancing turtle i don't know if you can see it but there's a gigantic water snake you can probably see the tip of its scales it is huge that thing's gigantic it's a diamondback. Man, that's huge. What is up, guys? The light is really bright, but that's fine. Uh, I think that we're just going to go and look for some snakes along the road. I got the golf cart back. It was missing a tire for the longest time, but I think we're ready. So let's get to it. It's kind of road cruising with the golf cart headlights. And we'll see some stuff. Saw something in the road over here. I'm in this little cul-de-sac turnaround area. Let's see, let's see, and it is a Cope's Gray Tree Frog. Wow, that's that's a nice one. That's bright green. He's pretty. I'm gonna take some photos of uh, the sky and uh, let him go. Probably in the forest, not in the middle of the road. Oh, well, I was coming over here to release him. Here's our guy, and uh, I looked up. There's another guy, right there. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, I'm about 99% sure that this is a Woodhouse's toad. Are you kidding me? I'm hearing chirping. And I look in the crack, and there's another boy. Oh, he just went down there. I don't know if you guys saw him at all, but. There's a big old bullfrog right there. I'm just seeing all the amphibians tonight. This isn't herping anymore. This is just amphibian. To be night, Look at that leopard frog hiding there under the rock, thinking he's so sneaky. I hear a cow. Uh, I was just about to leave, and here's probably I think the last species of toad for the night. This is an American toad. He's a real skinny boy. I think there's too many of these guys. Don't crush him. He's huge. He's huge. I hate spiders. I hate them. I don't hate spiders. There's another one over here. Would you like me to pick him up? You, Owen, this one's even freaking bigger. Oh. It's a boy. Oh, he's not happy. Oh. <laughs> oh, shoot. You can go up the tree, fam. And this is the last day you ever heard, or the last thing you, you ever heard from us. Dude, you look like a fat mouse. <laughs> I swear, you can climb. Hey everybody, my hair is super messy and it's super hot out. It's like 95 degrees, but uh, I'm at this rock pile, rock quarry, whatever you want to call it. Not really a quarry, just this rock pile. And I am just uh, just looking for some snakes. It's so hot out though. I doubt it's gonna, it's, it's not good flipping weather, but let's see if we can turn up. You gotta be careful here when you flip stuff because there could be a scorpion just hiding out. Right under the rock. That is a black widow. Hey guys, sorry if you can't see me. Today was really unproductive. I didn't see a single snake or lizard. It was the last warm day for about two weeks. So I'm just gonna see if I can find a Midland brown snake. This is really the last chance I have for a while to catch any snakes. So I'll keep you updated. Well, that took long enough. That did indeed take long enough. There's finally a Midland Brown Snake right there. Finally. Well, I guess it's not a Midland Brown Snake. That is actually a Plain-Bellied Water Snake. As soon as I tried to touch him, he coiled up. That's not very nice. I know a lot of you are going to be thinking that, oh, you're overreacting, that's not a cool snake at all. But honestly, in this neighborhood, if you can get anything, you're real lucky. There he is. 